Hey guys, Clash with Dandy Dan bringing you another CWO highlight video. We're going to start this one very similarly to how we started the last one. This is round two, of April 2024. And you see, again, my Dandy Dill Pickle account pulled another Town Hall 6. So it's just a super easy wipeout. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do with the videos because I'm having to do my CWL attacks is I'm going to be just kind of randomly picking a video. We got Ygritte. And look at this matchup. I mean, it's just such an easy base. This was like the third base up. So awesome that we get to wipe this out. Now we got a Golem Witch attack here. Um, but because I'm having to do so many war attacks, I mean, I've got like 15, 17 accounts. Not all of them are in CWL, but a fair amount are. And I'll flash the clock video here at some point. Um, I just need to be able to quickly do some video and get her done. Okay, guys, so we're going to flip over to Fun Win and Play here with Hercules. He's got a that Root Rider Witch Attack with a blimp going on here. So we see the Sarge blimp come in right by the Town Hall. Didn't have far to go. And it's going to take out, presumably, the Town Hall here. And I don't know, we'll see if we get the Monolith. Uh, they're really just shooting at whatever they feel like. I mean, they started on the Town Hall. And now they're going after the Monolith and back to the Town Hall. And I guess it's just the invisibility spell placements or what have you. Um, so, yeah, like, what I'm going to be doing is just kind of popping through each clan and picking a highlight from each clan real quick. And uh, taking the video and showing you guys what's up. Um, oh, there's the Root Riders down low here. The opposite end of the base. Here he comes. Uh, we're going up against a single Inferno there. I'll just kind of throw everything down which is awesome We've got the uh, warden ability and we're working through the base here and I found that there are a lot of root rider attacks still at town hall 16 um, just a whole bunch you know so uh, that's what we'll be seeing varying things whether you're using witches or valves but Root Riders are still uh, pretty strong despite any nerfs that have happened. Although, honestly, my results are not always as good, but it's working for some people, so you know, there it is. So that was uh, Hercules and Fun Win and Play, and we'll be moving on shortly to the next attack once they whip through the center of this base. There's a little work to be done. King's going to get it done, and there we go. And we are back now in uh, the Rusty Nuts with Captain Joey going against a &M. And we had a rough war, and he was the only person to score a three-star. So here we go. We've got a Yeti Ice Golem mix. I think he might have used this uh, same army the last time. Uh, video maybe even but it's working uh, so that's awesome a lot of free spells yeah the bat spells I remember this one um, so this is a good attack for Joey maybe it's something that can work for you and hit a tornado trap in the middle there not much left on the board but just some trash kind of on the back end at the 12 o'clock area and we're going to see this through. And it is going to be the only three star of War 2 for the Rusty Nuts. And we're back now with Doggy and K Farmhouse. He's got a Root Rider Valk combo, the Random Witch. And look, there's some Super Barbs. So we're zap in the center area of the base there down some value. We can see a root rider down there. See some super barbs working. A little uh, following action. And here comes the main push. So 
So now with that little donut hole in the center there, everything's going to go up towards that single inferno, whether it's on the outside or the inside of the base. Here comes a blimp right behind. So I guess that's going to be headed right for that town hall. And there is the Warden Ability. Man, that's a long trip. And he got it right before everything started to kind of wander funny. And it is weird that they went over to the left that way because uh, they really had decent pathing to go straight up. Uh, blimp goes down and the Town Hall goes down with it. And the rest of the Root Riders are working. There's a hound that's wandering around. So it hasn't been killed yet from the enemy CC. Looks like it's going to go down soon. There we go. And there's a big old king up at midnight. He's huge. And we're going to push along here at two times speed. We've got the uh, queen with some healers behind her doing a lot of work. And we're going to wrap up another three star in the farmhouse. And now we are going to find ourselves in Royal Fun, where we have uh, the other split side of our main clan, all the 14s and 15s, doing their um, CWL there. Uh, so we've got some uh, drags going down, looks like kind of an air attack with some healers. They go the healers are on the queen and she went down and immediately starts taking a beating but kind of comes back from it he drags behind a whole bunch of balloons see an overgrowth spell going down so everything's going to mostly be to the left and a rogue e drag go up and to the right everything's working around now the overgrowth let up saw a freeze there another freeze and everything is working Alks and the Queen headed up the middle. Uh, actually, that's just the uh, healers on Valks. Now they're finding their way back to the Queen. And it looks like she's going to get a lot of the work done here. Uh, 48 seconds to go. Fair amount of base left. When my troops have this much base left, they never get it done in time. But we're talking about Eddie 3 here, also known as E-Rock. This is one of his accounts. And coming through and finishing it off. And now we are in the Royals. And you see a 39-3 win here. Just an absolute blowout. And we're going to go with... Um, we're going to go with this Aura Shot attack here and see what we got. So, uh, two golems, a bunch of witches, ice golem. So, mostly a go wee. We got some action down here at uh, 6 o'clock. Some Zap Quake going on. Oh, now we're up at the top corner. Rolling down. Log Launcher, witches. For the eagle. eagle goes down. Got some troops going down towards uh, three o'clock. Golems are in the middle tanking with some witches. More golems headed down the center. Eddies. King working around. He's going to take the town hall. Looks like, and it's going to take him. And it is a three star with a few minions to spare. Next, we find ourselves in Alien Tyrants with an E Drag attack from John Falco. Um, and while this one goes, I'm going to explain some other things while he does his E Drag attack. But we've got some zaps going down. Um, so, just a little heads up. There will be a gold pass given away on the channel. Um, it will be in one of the next upcoming videos, which will be Hero Sojourn. And there will be a question that needs answering. 
and I explain all that process in that video, but just fair warning, there will be a gold pass given away on this channel, so keep watching the videos, hit subscribe, and it'll be all good. Next we find ourselves in all the troops with Ty going up against some guy whose name I can't pronounce. And you see we are getting absolutely easy matches in all the troops, which is great. So not a very technical thing to go over this attack here, but he is going to get a three star for us. And I think most everybody else did too, because it was such an easy matchup war for us. Great job. Next, in rapid-fire succession, we're headed over to the Rusty Shack. Uh, we've got Trey K going. He's got a Go Weebo going on with some ice golems. And we've got this weird squarish base going on here. I mean, this is just a funky-looking layout. Um, so we've got all these troops coming in from the uh, 9 o'clock area. Headed straight across. The log launcher now opens up, but most of the troops have passed from that 9 o'clock up towards midnight because the wall wasn't broken yet. Now the clan castle comes out, the yetis are in charge. Some golems make their way around and team up. Town hall goes down. All those other troops are coming up now from that top side at midnight, and everything's going to meet down around 3 o'clock to finish this base off. Here we go. Got an Inferno and a Tesla left, and then it's gonna be a done deal. Nice attack. And finally, we're gonna end up in fun win in war with Billy Madison using a Dragon and Dragon Rider attack here. So we've got some heroes down. I see a lot of bat spells and freezes. Um, so the heroes are going to do some following of sorts. The king is going to open up that base with his quake ability. And everything's coming down and headed straight up. And a few things kind of go left, which is great. Because they're going to take out that eagle. And then everything else went up towards the town hall. Now everything's working around and you see the bats coming out of that three o'clock corner. The bat inferno is just going to wipe this base out and it is all over just like this video. I will see you guys next time. Take care.